I'm uh, Alex Zarinka. I'm the founder and CEO of New Tracks Technologies. We're a high tech startup here in Montreal that uh, started in the mining industry 12 years ago when a university professor in Val d'Or in Quebec uh, invited us to deploy our technology in the experimental mine they had up there. The industry uh, knows that they're going underground. It's just a matter of time. A lot of these open pits are going underground. So a lot of the production uh, is facing the um, you know, challenges of a very unique environment. It's a lot easier to see what's happening on surface than it is underground. So there's a real need to innovate to achieve the same level of, of efficiency in a confined environment. Uh, I'd say that's number one. And number two is the new uh, generation of uh, management that's taking over these mine sites are, you, are used to much more uh, digital uh, management style. And so it creates a strong sense of urgency. They see all these inefficiencies and they're like, no, I'm not going to work like this. <laughs> so they, they really want to uh, adopt these digital tools a lot more aggressively. And I think that's what's creating a lot of the, the urgency for innovation in the underground uh, part of the hard rock mining industry. So the, the concept of the digital divide was traditionally used when they were talking about the difference between the industrialized world and the developing world or between the urban areas and the rural areas where the level of connectivity was not the same. So the, the participation in you know, all the services, everything we expect from the internet was very prevalent in the uh, industrial world, industrialized world and in the urban world. But then there was a whole section of the global population that was simply not benefiting from all these uh, advances. And in the mining industry, when you look at the uh, underground mines versus uh, surface mines or open pit or open, open cut mines, the same kind of split. So the level of uh, digitalization in uh, open pit mines is a lot higher than underground. How that affects uh, safety or productivity? Well, uh, you know, it's very simple to understand that if you go underground, you're at the face and you're offline. Well, if you uh, fall unconscious, even if you have the best kind of sensors to detect that you've fallen unconscious, if you're not able to send that signal to surface, well, <laughs> you know, uh, it's, it's tough luck. So uh, that affects safety from a productivity point of view, the same thing, real time management of the underground operations, you know, in an open pit mine, you can look and see more or less what's happening as the manager of an underground mine, it's, you know, more difficult. So that level of uh, digitalization and access to real time data uh, has a real impact on the ability of people to be productive underground. Okay, well, listen, I mean, it's obviously an honor to be part of the plenary session at the CIM. Uh, from our perspective, it's the main event uh, in Canada. It's, um, you know, it's a condensed set of interactions with a lot of the leadership in the Canadian mining industry. We always get, we've been participating for the last 10 years, always get a lot of, uh, of uh, value from uh, participating in the, in the CIM. Uh, this year, we're also organizing a, a full day workshop on how uh, machine learning is being used in different scenarios. And so we certainly invite people to uh, register and participate in that uh, full day workshop. Montreal is one of the top three global hubs in AI, and a lot of the um, key people will be participating in that uh, workshop. I think that's another big value add people to come to Montreal for the CIM this year. Montreal is one of the top three global hubs for machine learning. We have one of the uh, three founders of deep learning that's based here and that has a uh, you know, con research consortium of one of the leading academics in this field. And a lot of these uh, leaders in AI in Montreal will be participating on May 1st at a CIM GMG uh, workshop on AI. So I think it's a fantastic opportunity 
for the mining industry to get a condensed view of what's happening in machine learning in Montreal. And it's just one more good reason to come uh, at CIM this year.